ko te tika no o tātou, hui ai tātou, timata ai tātou i a hui ki te karakia me te waiata. Koere te nākau nui o mātou, nga kaiako e mahi ana i wana nui i nga kura katoa. So every meeting that we begin, we begin with a karakia and a waiata, we also share our mihi and that's part of our uh, desire to grow in our own reo. Uh, to be honest, that was a structure that was in place before I got here, which says to me that um, my colleagues have a desire to implement culturally responsive practice into everything that they do. And as a result, we implement that into the schools we visit uh, simply simply by recognising that we enter into their environment and we recognise their tikanga, so to speak. Uh, so we are very much led uh, by the teachers and by the schools that we visit. Te Reo Māori is really important at Fernside and we get lots of opportunities with it, like kapahaka and chances to use it when we're greeting people in the morning or greeting people who are visitors to the school. We've got five values, part of Fisa. Pekerua, Kuru, we've got Tuki and Roy Mata, which is respect. There's a large focus in our schools on culturally responsive pedagogies and as a result I've taken that on board and that's been my inquiry for this year and it's still an ongoing inquiry. There's a lot of schools that uh, see this as a need within our kahuyako. Uh, at the same time when I step into those schools I see a lot of great things happening that I guess has taken me slightly by surprise. Uh, I now know where I stand and where I need to go as far as this uh, inquiry goes and the support has been fantastic. My work this year has been looking at a culturally responsive practice and really focusing on the curriculum, how we present that to all of our students, achievement for Māori, achievement for boys and low progress students. So the, one of the main things that we uh, changed about our learning program this year, from my coal studies the year before, was to introduce a culture counts element to our planning. And this is a time where children can really explore who they are and te reo Māori, te kanga Māori, kapahaka, really have an opportunity for Māori to succeed as Māori in the mainstream. But I know that a lot of our students don't have the same opportunities at home with other teachers and that's not their fault. It's just something that I was feeling really passionate about. Plus, uh, we have a multicultural team and those students also need time to share. And so with my studies, I was able to identify that children really didn't really know and sometimes feel safe about sharing with culture but by the end of the year uh, we've got children who are feeling very safe about talking about themselves and where they're from, their heritage and also um, using te reo as a norm in our team and that's been a big change um, for the children. The values you place on culture and te reo Māori as a curriculum area uh, will impact on your students so um, that was made really, really clear. I got to a certain stage in my inquiry framework uh, where I felt it was time to speak to the people at the chalk face, I guess you could say. So as a result, I took uh, my questions to some students within their work environment. <clears throat> so when I entered the space, they were really open to share their thoughts and opinions on uh, culturally responsive pedagogies in their school, in their education, in their life in general and that gave me a little window into how our tamariki are thinking in our particular kahuyaku. Alongside that, a lot of teachers were really supportive uh, who shared the same interest in this kaupapa, so they um, would often share their thoughts and opinions, um, ask questions, and I'd ask questions of them also, so it was really very much a two-way interaction thing. So as we collaborated together, the inquiry sort of took form, took shape. 